I feel like this is a trick question. I'm really scared right now. Julia? What is up guys, Karma Medic here. It's a really nice sunny day on campus. Everybody is out and chilling on the grass. I thought I'd walk around and interview a couple of people, asking them questions about university life, social life, academics, a couple of cheeky questions as well. So this is gonna be a good break for me from my revision. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'm joined today by... Amin. And? Julia. Kenji. Ahil. Daniel. And? Daniel. <laughs> Shahir and Katarina. All right, and I've got a couple of questions for you guys about university life. How many lectures have you skipped this year? Hmm, I would say I have attended. If I'm being perfectly honest, <laughs> I think that's actually zero. Zero? Oh, what me, me, props to them, honestly, start. that's mad. Between 50 to 70% of lectures. That's pretty good. Yep. How many lectures have you skipped this year? <laughs> <laughs> so attendance is quite good towards the start, and right, then it right. just tails off towards the end. Sleep, social life, and grades. You can only pick two, so what do you guys choose? I'll pick grades, because I'm here for a reason. Aye, aye. Respect. Sleep has to be sacrificed. Enjoy it. I agree. <laughs> Sacrifice sleep, yeah. I'd go for social life and grades. Yeah. I'd cut out sleep. Yeah. But what have you went for? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sure. sleep is like, personally, I can get away with about five or six hours per night. Yeah. I tend to prioritise work during exam time and then for the rest of the year, just tend to go out with friends and things like that. And Kat? Um, sleep and social life. You keep sleep and social life? Yeah. What about grades? Um, <laughs> <laughs> grades come in third year when it starts to count. Fair enough, fair enough. Ahil and Kenji. As far as I know, both single hot men. Can you tell me a little bit about what the dating scene is like at university? Oof, man, the library is popping. <laughs> library is popping. Poppin'. If you want to... Library. Wanna... library. NHH, shout out to NHH, NHH Library, man. Which library has the best sneaky? girls? Oof, I'd say probably Morn, actually. Morn, yeah. Morn Library. Mm -hmm. It's probably, yeah, yeah. Morn Library. Yeah, what do you think? I mean, the Morn is a very quiet place, <laughs> and you get a lot of work done there because it's Strandy's right. Um, for jokes aside, um, <laughs> New Hunt's house during revision periods. Especially with the sunny. Guys, campus for life, man. What is the best part about university? Extra freedom. Extra freedom. Yeah, and like a bigger campus, traveling a bit more. There's always someone to talk to. There's a lot going on. Uh, I'm never bored. Whether I'm revising or going out, you'll come across someone that you know and you can have a chat. As everyone's got something different to say. Is there anything that you miss about high school, Julian? I guess I miss like knowing what you're doing all the time so mm -hmm. everything's set out whereas yeah. at uni every day is different what would you say is the best cure for a hangover <clears throat> water yeah water yeah drink lots of water no drink alcohol again drink more alcohol and that's <laughs> i got this question and it uses english slang which i'm not the most familiar with as you guys will know okay, okay. but the question says what's the tea on freshers what's for the tea mean? what's the tea on freshers do you know what this means Tea. Oh, can we, can we say Dan and Dan? <laughs> I'm joined here with Dan and Dan. Dan and Dan, nice to meet you guys. The first question I have for you is, what was the biggest difference for you between high school and university? I'd rather say like, you have to manage your own time a lot better. Yeah. Speaking of which, how do you manage your time? Poorly most of the bit. Poorly most it's, yeah, it's just, when there's a deadline, it really drives me. But outside of that, probably don't do it as well as I should. You realise how independent you have to be? Because mm. at school you're spoon fed a lot of stuff by teachers, you get told like to do this work, this will help you out. But university, I mean you, do, you don't have to go to lectures, do you? There's no. there's no like registers or anything. So you've got to motivate yourself to go. Uh, just getting used to living alone. Yeah, so you gotta cook for yourself, clean everything. Do you do your own laundry? Yeah, I do now. <laughs> how many times have you ordered takeout this week? Probably like five. Yeah. One? Ooh, I would say I'm less of a takeout person and more of like go to Tesco and get a meal deal. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's one of the questions actually I forgot to ask. <laughs> what is your favorite meal deal combo? Ooh. <laughs> Ice, one, eh? <laughs> Ice coffee, no mayo, yeah. chicken tikka okay. sandwich, and popcorn. Popcorn? Yeah. I haven't tried popcorn. Let's try that out. <laughs> Cheer. Uh, prawn mayo sandwich. Okay. Um, paprika, Walker's Chris, and uh -huh. then some orange juice. And then some orange juice. your OJ. Uh, nice Need some OJ. I can get behind that. How do you guys deal with burnout and stress at university? So me personally, I've joined all my other friends here and going to the gym. Mm -hmm. um, nice way to sort of, you know, burn off the extra energy you have, clear your head as well. And also we come out here um, in the grass and guys campus, sort of sit around, um, get some sunshine chat to friends but yeah um yeah i'd say during the year i typically de-stress by playing football mm -hmm. and then during exam time 
I tend to go outside, go get food, go hang out with friends. Mm -hmm. When you open your phone, what's the first app that you compulsively touch? Ooh, yeah, Instagram for sure. Instagram? Instagram, yeah. I Always totally agree. Instagram. Yeah, I need to delete that, especially during exam period. <laughs> I need to delete it, man. Instagram. Instagram, Instagram. Yeah. 100%. Probably Instagram. Probably Instagram. Same. Spotify. Spotify. Yeah. And then the last question that I have for you guys. Some months of the year have 31 days. Some months have 30 days. How many months in the year have 28 days? I feel like this is a trick question. I'm really scared right now. Julia? Technically, February once every four years. No. Yeah. No. Sorry, yeah, it's, yeah, it's just February, yeah. How many months have 28 days? One. Yeah, if it's a leap year, one. What if it's not a leap year? What? Um, I don't know. I know the answer to this. What is it? 12 months. 12. <laughs> 12. Oh, shit. See, I knew it was a trick question when it ends. Oh, I see. All right, that concludes it. Anything you guys want to say? No, not really. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> one more time, one more time. Comment, like, subscribe. Yeah, listen to Julie. <laughs> Subscribe to NASA's channel if you haven't done already. Great channel. Uh, <laughs> if you want to get into medicine, follow this guy. He'll get Jeez, you in. Man. Shout out Karma Medic for the oh, appearance my today. My man, dude, my man. All right. Thank you guys very much. Thanks.